a woman died. Her brother is heartbroken. A local burial team is getting ready to remove the body from the village in the Robertsfield community near Liberia's International Airport. Emmanuel N. B. Flomo, the man with a little camera, is the head of the team. Removing dead bodies infected with Ebola is a risky job. Filming it is a difficult one. You can't move quickly in a suit like these men are wearing. The gear needs to be covered and later disinfected, like everything else around here. The undertakers start with a hearse and then take on the woman's house. We have to disinfect everything that we are mistakenly get in contact with him because he's not supposed to touch anything in there. So, but I mean, it's crazy, like all the people, like the guys like around us, like they have no, they have no protection at all. It's the problem that we got in Liberia. Most people are, are, are they are not believing that the virus is real. The young woman lived in this tiny hut with just a bed, some cooking pots, some firewood. She lies on a mattress on the floor and is covered by clothes. Now he's disinfecting the body. And it's my own saying that she's a, she's a baby mother and the child is just three months old. So I don't know if the family will still be uh, refusing for them to take the baby too for, for treatment because I land a child who is not eating right now. After disinfecting the body, the undertakers are preparing themselves to put the body into the body bag. And this point is the, is the risky part. So it's, it's only advisable to touch the body one time. And that is by taking the body from the ground straight into the body bag. That's the only type of guys that want to get in contact with the body. The infection on Anna around this body, I would say, is 100%. While the men are disinfecting themselves, the father shouts at them. The husband can only watch how the undertakers are carrying his dead wife away. The burial team takes the body to a nearby village. The undertakers bury the body far into the bush. After more than 200 burials since the Ebola outbreak in their area, none of the team has gotten sick. But their job not only comes with a health risk, it's also an emotional strain. Out of respect for the dead woman and her family, they don't want me to film how they have to put the body into the ground. The men say they are not scared, they need to do it, because if they didn't, more of their people would get infected and die. Benno Möchler, BOA News, Margibi County, Liberia.